What is going on everyone? My name's Boyt and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology. The Titans action spawning in the left side of the map in the blue color playing as Zeus. His name is Hagrid. His opponent today in the red color playing as Thor. Scouting with his ox card. His name is Soup. This map is compared to Megan Random, but you knew that already. It's currently 1-2-0 in this best of five? Best of five series. For the group stages. Winner of this would probably become uh, top of the group. Loser of this will probably become second of the group. So this does matter quite a bit as we do see the Olvsark spotting the ball here. Did I say best of three? Best of three, not best of five. Best of three. So that's what I know. Uh, villagers moving forward here. Jumping onto the cow here. He has to be a... Wait. Oop, he's just killing the cow to try and get himself... Uh, he's trying to get himself up to... Up to pig sticker so he can pick off these... These these huntables fast. But pig sticker takes 40 seconds. So he's going to have to kill this off anyways. As there is tons of food here for soup. Just nothing in the starting line of sight and um, things going a little bit pear-shaped for soup in this early game we'll see how he's going to go and how he's going to react to it um hagrid on the other hand here he has found his rhino in the middle of the map he sees the elephant there's tons of food here. this is the high hunt map if i've ever seen it uh, and that means one thing here for hagrid and the question is will hagrid be able to get a fast enough classical age to really put the pressure on early with Athena, or will Soup be able to uh, do what Soup does, which is defend and be aggressive and be chaotic here against the the uh, against the Greek? And he does find a very very helpful relic to do it. The Tusk of the Iron Boar. If I see a relic like this, this makes me feel like I should actually go raiding cavalry over Hersa. Uh, her sir throwing axemen. So we'll see if this is going to be something that Soup believes as well as he's finding more and more cows as this map is incredibly open with tons of food on it, with tons of cows as well. So very, very exciting. We'll see what these guys are going to come up with. Plenty of cows here for Soup as he's trying to work out a way to uh, kind of micromanage this early game, trying to wait for his gold uh, he's got his gold but wait for his wood to get himself to the next age here he's just putting villages over Good onto point. the onto the berries here trying to be a little bit efficient with walking time the offside comes back the temple will drop Hagrid on the other hand no temple up just yet but he can throw it down right now still a little bit late if you ask me if he throws it up right now so we'll see what he's going to go for this is 4 30 advanced time if he only puts one villager on this one the villagers are eating up this elephant in the middle of the map now. Uh, and we continue along as more cows are being found. Uh, it's a pretty weird map compared to Mega Random in that sometimes you can get no cows, sometimes you can get tons of cows, and any number in between. Uh, so that is something that exists here, and that's just a thing. Uh, Soup, on the other hand, now going up through Forsetti, so no surprise is there though i think that this is just one of those matchups where freya with that relic in the top corner here what was it well the eye of ornlu is here as well actually which makes her sir throwing axemen good even better as well so you have the best of both worlds where you can even go raiding cavalry throwing axemen and have a very good shot at winning this game here but the reason why i say maybe freya is not a bad idea is because you can go for uh you can go for thundering hooves raiding cavalry, but I guess I guess Super sees that as an option, uh, or not as an option here, as he's going through Force Eddie just because of potential centaur. So you do see Athena now coming through for Hagrid with the elephant finishing up here, and the dreaded Athena rush is going to be on the way here. And Hagrid's done a bit of an interesting build here. He started putting Lady. villagers on wood very early on in this game. So he's going to have a lot more wood than he otherwise would have. Which is me with my silly English, but fine. Uh, 
Athena just about to pop. We'll see the buildings get thrown down immediately. He's going to get himself Jason Odysseus. I would love to see a second Minotaur here. This is something I talk about a lot when you go for anything later than 4.30. Uh, oh, sorry, anything... Yeah, anything 4.30 or later, you should get yourself a second Minotaur out because you're always going to have that excess in resources as we do see the troll coming in. No need to bolt that just yet. It's not like a scary Minotaur. Sorry, scary Valkyrie. Probably better to actually bolt the uh, the Hursa in this situation as the, the building's coming out. Uh, and let's see if there's going to be some houses getting thrown down for Hagrid making sure everything's coming out nicely the villagers turning around going to start shanking this one down the Odysseus coming in here to try and take out this troll here I definitely think that keeping these villagers active is going to be the most helpful that you can do you can have for yourself as now soup is getting himself raiding cavalry out he does have himself the tusk of the iron ball here and the villagers have to make their way to a separate location here but at least he's not close to the buildings of his opponent here which is not something you want to be doing as the units move forward they see the villagers are gone they see the dead carcass turning to a skeleton here and they will be searching up to the top side of the map obviously this is where uh soup is going to go Agarit knows that that's where all the food is, so he's going to be setting his way up there. Maybe checking the gold mine out as well, because it is a forward gold mine in a big way. And we'll see if Soup can do anything here. Is the wooden walls are up, but they're just not quite up well enough here, as there is a slight gap here, and the sentry tower is going to be getting taken out fairly fast. More buildings, more units coming out. I actually kind of like the Hursa raiding cavalry army that Soup has assembled here. We'll see how this is going to go, uh, as we do indeed see that extra Minotaur is coming out. And the unit's going to be retreating back here, just a little bit turning on taking this fight. We see the uh, Katoska boss getting chased down here as Agro is going to be waiting for his second Minotaur to take this fight. He turns around and Soup says, yep, no, not for me, not just yet. There is actually another option that isn't a second Minotaur. And I think if you see all these Hursa, it might be worth Legend. doing it. And that's Olympic Parentage <laughs> in the early game to, to make your heroes very, very strong. Though maybe that's not worth it. I don't know. I have to do some calculations uh, as Hagrid trying to push in and finish off uh finish off soup it's still going to be really close now seeing now some throwing axemen coming out because there's the healing spring to get those uh those units healed back up and one thing you can do is be sniping with your toxodian odysseus a little bit with your hoplites being just a little bit behind them to to force the to force the, that's exactly right to force the the Thor player out of their base, getting little, little bits of chip damage down to kind of just make the, the army smaller and smaller. Soup's at 80 population, Hagrid is at 70 population. So Soup definitely having a good time of it here. As do we see where is where are the villagers here? As now, yeah, Hagrid's got an idea up to the top. He's found the villager hunting party here of Soup. And Soup is going to be retreating away. Moving up here, we will be seeing Super attempting to engage this one here. He has got himself, or well, he doesn't have himself forest fire because he's used himself healing spring, but he does have the healing spring helping out in this game. And there is the restoration, as we will be seeing an attempt of um, Hagrid to kind of micro as best as he can. As the hot Hursa trying to take down those Minotaurs, and Soup says he has to take this fight, which I really don't think he did have to. We see a bolt there onto one of those Hursa as 69 population for Hagrid. Soup is at 66 population, as there are now no Hursa remaining to deal with this second Minotaur, which Hagrid has, cr has created here. And Soup going to be retreating back into his base, but now it's 49 population for Soup. Hagrid's at 66, forward gold mine, no food remaining, no hunt remaining to be hunted because he has to come back to his base and Soup does decide to tap out there. GG, well played by Hagrid. A fairly beautiful looking Athena rush there to take Soup out. I'm a little bit disappointed to see Soup going so hard in that fight. The idea is to force a restoration, pull back, retreat into your base. You've got all of these cows, no problems where that's concerned. You don't have a lack of food income. The problem is this gold mine. Get yourself watchtowers, defend your tower. 
go heroic age and be okay in this matchup but just kind of goes all in and doesn't even have the upgrades to go all in like if he maybe went uh for medium raiders as well here it could have been a helping hand but soup didn't even do that he does have 200 food in the bank as well so if he'd just sp spent his resources a little bit differently he could have been in a much better position here but GG, well played by Hagrid, wins the series 2-0. to zero. If you guys enjoyed this game and want to see more like it, hit the like button on the YouTube, hit the subscribe button, and if you're on the Twitch, hit the follow button. Bye.